I'm Professor Krishna Raj. I'm the joint PhD coordinator between Ministry of Education and Indian Institute of Technology. Also, I'm advisor of Ministry of Innovation and Technology. India and Ethiopia is having a bilateral relationship over many decades. And this is the first uh, launching program after a visit of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, actually, uh, our Prime Minister and Ethiopian Prime Minister uh, before uh, two days have a very good uh, bilateral collaboration in making very strategic uh, partnership. So the Ministry of Education, especially the State Minister, our His Excellency Autokora, uh, we are we are working with uh, more than two years in integrating with the leading uh, uh, in, uh, uh, Indian Institute of Technology to make an world class technology laboratory integrating with Ethiopian universities. You know, Ethiopian universities are having comprehensive university, research university, and applied universities. All are autonomous now. Integrating comprehensive university, research university, uh, applied university as a single umbrella in a platform is a need of our and uh, integrating with the Indian Institute of Technology will give a new vision. As you know that uh, Indian Institute of Te uh, Technology, the product of Indian Institute of Technology is uh, across the world. For example, uh, Google CEO Sundar Pichai uh, is the product of IIT. So all IITs uh, give the very good global contribution. So integrating uh, uh, Ethiopian University with IITs will give a world class platform and the quality will be enriched. <coughs> when you go for a uh, PhD program, all the coursework will be done in Ethiopia. For example, all the uh, even uh, it's an international capacity multidisciplinary program. For example, uh, if the students are from the Dembidolo or from Bonka or from any places, the students will be uh, the uh, the faculties can register PhD under the hub. Once they register, the coursework uh, can be done in the Ethiopia and the research work will be going to the India. And the Ministry of Education is giving the flight ticket and the visa process. The Indian Embassy will be integrated. And when they go to India, for 12 to 18 months, uh, uh, the scholarship, the fellowship will be given. Uh, 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 which is uh, which is around 38 INR, which is uh, equal to 60,000 Ethiopian bid. Actually, this uh, opportunity will enhance the quality of public university faculties for uh, improving the quality. In Ethiopian universities, it is common for all the public universities in Ethiopia, in 47. India. In India, uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, the MOU is signed with IIT Bombay, IIT Karakpur, IIT Mandi, IIT Ropor, IIT Tirupati, IIT Palakar, IIT Indore, and um, IIC Bangalore, and uh, IIT Bombay. Eh? And also this program, for this uh, 250 students for 5 years, it's a 5 years program, so more than 1000 uh, uh, joint uh, PhD program candidates will be get benefited. So not uh, based on this, based on the, it is a 2 tier program, joint PhD, it's a joint degree as well as joint supervision. So both uh, Ethiopian uh, University as well as Indian University will join give the uh, degree. And uh, joint supervision, both the institution will give the degree, and uh, and it will be accelerated to other IITs, and we are sure that all the 23 IITs will be integrated. Not only IITs, even National Institute of Technology has been integrated, and already there are many students are graduated under this program. Uh, for example, in uh, Dembidola University, in Wollega University, uh, Wollega University integrated with uh, IIT Palakkad and IIT Indore, two students graduated. Dembidola uh, integrated with IIT Hyderabad, the students have graduated. And uh, Jimma University integrated with uh, IIT um, Indore uh, is going to graduate. And also Arba Minch University integrated with uh, um, IIT Indore is going to graduate. They are going to submit the thesis. So These are way forward. Ethiopia uh, is emerging, going to, is uh, emerging as the leading uh, institution, leading country in technology, so especially in the artificial intelligence and other startups. So this uh, strategic partnerships uh, uh, integrated uh, with uh, uh, India and Ethiopia will improve the bilateral collaboration in agriculture, in sustainable technology, in clean energy, as well as in uh, education sector, as well as mining. Uh, these and uh, information technology. These are very, very important. And this visit of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and with our uh, Prime Minister Abhi Ahmed, this relationship is uh, giving a new shake to the world under the BRIC partnership. As you know that uh, the BRIC partnership, Britain, 
Russia, India, China, South Africa, they were the BRIC partnership and India is going to be the chairman of the BRIC partnership coming year. So this, uh, during the chairman of the BRIC partnership, uh, when it's integrating with Ethiopia, uh, as Ethiopia is a developing country, as uh, you know, the natural resources are very good and uh, uh, Indian teachers are working here for several days and uh, India and Ethiopia have very good cultural similarity, ethicals and uh, cultural similarity and the way we live, everything, we are uh, united. So this will give very good dynamic uh, prosperity in this uh, country.